Spiders, some of nature's most misunderstood creatures. From their intricate webs to their peculiar hunting methods, there's no denying that they play a vital role in our ecosystem. But despite this, many of them have found themselves tangled in myths and misconceptions. And today, we're diving into one of the biggest spider myths out there. If you've ever had a conversation about spiders, chances are you've heard this one before. Daddy long legs are the most poisonous spiders in the world, but their fangs are too short to bite humans. It's a statement that has been passed down through generations, shared on playgrounds, and even mentioned in pop culture. But is there any truth to it? Today, we're going to unravel this myth once and for all. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a closer look at the truth behind this popular daddy long legs myth. We're going to explore where this myth came from, how poisonous daddy long legs really are, and if there's any scientific evidence to support these claims. So grab your favorite drink, sit back, and let's get into it. Before we dive into the myth, let's get to know our star a bit better. The term daddy long legs is actually a bit ambiguous because it's used to describe not one, but three different creatures. First, we have harvestmen also known as opiliones. These arachnids have long, thin legs, a small oval body, and are often seen wandering around damp places like basements and gardens. Second, we have the cellar spider, a true spider that spins webs and is known for its long, delicate legs. Lastly, there's the crane fly, which isn't even a spider, but an insect. Despite looking like giant mosquitoes, these insects are often called daddy long legs in some parts of the world. For today's video, we're mainly going to focus on the first two, harvestmen and cellar spiders, because they're the ones most people think of when they hear daddy long legs. Let's get into where this myth about their venom came from. The origin of the most poisonous spider myth is difficult to trace, but it seems to have gained traction from a mix of folklore, misunderstandings, and perhaps a bit of exaggeration. Some believe it may have started as a local myth that spread over time, becoming accepted as fact in certain areas. But there's another reason this myth may have been so persistent. Cellar spiders, in particular, have a behavior called web bouncing, where they rapidly shake their webs when they feel threatened. This, coupled with their long, almost ghostly appearance, could have contributed to people thinking they were more dangerous than they really are. But enough speculation. It's time to look at the science behind this claim. Are daddy long legs really that venomous? Before we dive into the facts, it's important to understand the difference between venom and poison. Venom is a toxin that must be injected into the bloodstream through a bite or sting. Poison, on the other hand, is something harmful if ingested, touched, or inhaled. So, if daddy long legs were truly the most poisonous, that would mean their venom is incredibly toxic. But can they inject venom? Let's start by examining the cellar spider. Cellar spiders are true spiders, meaning they have venom glands and fangs. Their venom is designed to paralyze small insects, which they capture in their webs. However, multiple studies have been conducted, and there's no evidence to suggest that their venom is harmful to humans. The myth likely arose because of how quickly cellar spiders can subdue their prey, but that doesn't mean their venom is especially strong. It's actually quite mild when compared to other spiders like the black widow or brown recluse. Now let's talk about harvestmen. Here's a fact that will surprise you. Harvestmen don't even have venom glands. That's right, they don't inject venom into their prey. Instead, they rely on scavenging and feeding on decomposing matter. They lack the structure to bite or inject toxins into anything, let alone a human. So there you have it. One of the supposed most poisonous spiders out there doesn't even have venom at all. This myth is starting to look a little shaky, isn't it? So what does science have to say about this myth? Multiple studies have analyzed the venom of cellar spiders, and none of them have shown it to be dangerous to humans. In fact, scientists have even tested the effects of this venom on mammals and found it to be harmless. 
When it comes to harvestmen, there's no venom to test in the first place. Interestingly, scientists do know why this myth might have persisted. Cellar spiders can sometimes catch other, more dangerous spiders in their webs, like black widows, and people may have thought that only an incredibly venomous spider could take down such a notorious predator. Despite what the science says, the myth persists. Why? Well, myths can be surprisingly stubborn. Once an idea gets lodged into the collective consciousness, it's hard to change it. The myth of the daddy longlegs being the most poisonous spider has become almost like an urban legend, repeated so often that people just assume it's true. But we hope this video helps set the record straight. While daddy longlegs are fascinating and even a little eerie looking, there's no need to fear them. In fact, they might even be helping keep your home free of other, less friendly pests. At the end of the day, spiders, including daddy longlegs, play a critical role in maintaining a balanced ecosystem. By catching and controlling other insect populations, they help prevent outbreaks of pests that could be harmful to crops and even humans. So the next time you see a daddy longlegs, remember, they're not the most poisonous spider, and they're definitely not out to get you. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the fascinating world of nature myths. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.